Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> <Oof>. <coughs> okay, so the title's not lying. Uh, yeah, we are. We're 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 baked a little bit, and we're playing Stanley's Parable. Par Parable. If you've ever heard of Stanley's Parable, it's a little bit of a trippy experience. I've never played it, bro. I'm not welcome to Rockville right now, limo. Sorry. Oh, beer. Oh no, that's bummer. Okay, have fun though. That sounds sick. It's just stopping by. Bummer, you're gonna miss Stanley's Parable. This is gonna be a good one. Ah, whatever. The VOD will be uploaded on the VOD YouTube channel, which I'm starting to get working now, which is cool. Uh, anyways, let's get right into the game. Oh, not that. I want to pause it. I want to pause it. I want to pause it. There we go. <laughs> My god. <laughs> okay, so if anyone's ever heard of Stanley's Parable, it's a uh, trivia experience for sure. I think I watched a playthrough of it back when it came out in like 2013, but I don't remember anything. No, our uh, bit rate's not amazing. I need to pull this up on my phone to make sure this is working how it should be. Is this working? Okay, we're just very delayed, but it's working. Uh, let's do it. Okay, what time is it for us? It is five or three, oh, six p.m. I hope we weren't too far off. <coughs> but yeah, this should be exciting. I'm uh, excited to see what's going on. Hang on, hang on. What does that mean? Okay, I hope this is working. My bitrate says it's doing poorly, but it looks like it's doing fine. So we'll just believe it's doing fine. And go from there. If it's not going fine, let me know. Before we get started, can I just say something? Thank you for actually saying the clock both times you booted up the game. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Okay, so I started this up one time earlier, but I didn't play it all. I just changed some settings. So that's creepy that it tracked that. I'm kind of scared already. Fuck. Why is it tracking that? A lot of people don't take that stuff seriously. They just leave the clock set at 12 and call it a day. But you're actually taking the time to set to the clock, and I appreciate that. Oh, thank you! I feel so special! <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. Hey, maybe it has something to do with the game or something. Well, actually, it does. I'm glad I said it the right way. We got to experience something cool. Okay, I'm going to just ignore the red color by putting my water bottle in front of it. 
because the stream is still up and doing fine. I feel so special. That's how I know that you care about this experience. You're paying attention. I don't even have any way of knowing if the times you're sending are correct. Oh, tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Okay, are you are you buttering me up for a bad deal here? Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see this screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. Go ahead, pick whichever time you want. Even if it's not the correct time, you've earned it. All right, I'll let you get back to the video game now. Okay, well, I'm sorry. Now I have to start it again, and I have to set the time to 420. Because I really, I really want to know what happens. <laughs> the menu is part of the game. That's insane. I'm so down for this. This is going to be trippy as fuck, especially for how big I am. Oh, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tweet this really quick. Uh, I will put a marker since I'm starting to edit the VODs a little more. By the way, if anyone's seeing this, there is a VODs channel. It is linked in. Actually, I need to connect it somewhere. I'll, I'll put it in the Twitch links later, but I'll be editing put it in the breaks Twitch and links stuff. Later, oh, put um, okay. What was I doing again? Fuck, what was I doing? <laughs> This is why you don't get high. Oh, yeah, I'm tweeting this. Okie dokie. Just in case anyone wants to participate in the experience, you know. Also, being a good streamer, I have to do this. I'm not a good streamer, but I, I need to do this. <laughs> so I can get more people, hopefully. Okay. Here we go. Go copy that tweet here. I'm gonna just tweet the title of the stream, which is sorry guys, I hope no one's here. I don't think anyone in this. I just checked for you viewers at the one, but if anyone's here, I'm sorry, we will be right there. How do you spell parable? Parable? Or is it parable or parable? Parable. Parable. Okay. Small streamer. Stanley. Parable. And I'm going to tweet the developer. Why not? At Stanley. Pair. Okay, what's the developer stamp variable? <laughs> Welcome to my construction of a tweet. I almost regret doing it this high. My God. Yeah, whatever. I don't need it. Okay. Sweet. Let's get it. <clears throat> this video is still uploading in the background on YouTube, which is not good. It's got 32 minutes, so it should be done by the time we get a little bit into this. Um, okay, let's set it. So, favorite time. <laughs> okay, I mean, this is what we're doing this stream, right? Yeah, why not? <laughs> ah, 420. <laughs> not AM. Fuck, PM. Yeah. 420 AM. I'm just asleep. If I'm smoking at 420 AM, I got a problem. Actually, I did that the other night. That's not good. But also, I couldn't fall asleep and I was up until like 6 in the morning. So, uh, fair. Fair game, in my opinion. Oh, you could not simply resist giving me the same correct time again. After all, I know how much you enjoy saying the time correctly. Okay, now I'm okay. Now I'm curious how. Oh, I should have just done the right time. Inac. Uh. 
It's somewhat accurate. It's not 100% accurate. It's like, it's an hour. So if we do, if we do, if we divide this into 24, it's what, and minus 1 24th, we're an hour away. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24. 24. It's pretty accurate. <laughs> oh, wait, it's 4.20 a.m. Fuck, we're very far off. Uh, Okay, pretty, we're, we're just going to go. Pretty inaccurate. Eh, it's more accurate than it is inaccurate, though. You know, can I just say, regardless of the accuracy of the guy, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. I feel like I'm learning more about you and I, and how you like things to be set. It's good to collect data. What the fuck, man? What is this game? I wasn't expecting to do this shit in the menus. What? I just started the game once. I wish we had more sliders, but we've gone through all the sliders I have. Hmm, perhaps I convinced some new sliders to gather dad, the new data on you. Should be too hard. Yeah, let me whip a couple of ones up. Should be ready the next time you boot the game. We're playing the side game. Fuck, fuck the real game. The side game. The menu game. That's what this is all about. That's uh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Cause like, come on. But what? I didn't know there was a game in the menus. This is insane. I wonder if I if not setting the accurate time has changed the story a bunch though. We'll see. I didn't adjust the brightness slider again, which I should have done. I just realized that was part of the test. I didn't adjust the brightness to see if it did it again. Fuck! Because I don't really care that much about the brightness. Okay, please adjust the slider until the dog and the cat are friends. Hey, they're friends. Please adjust the slider until the number five becomes the number nine. Is there an actual nine? That says nine, but we're playing a video game and video games are written in code. So this nine would be a string. So it's not the number nine, it's the string nine. <laughs> Imagine, maybe it does go that deep low key though. Maybe. Okay, that's the number nine. There's also IX, which is uh, not nine. <laughs> so number nine. Please just the slider until you stop. Please just the slider until you stop just the slider. I want to go all the way. Hmm. Which of the two made up words below is most appealing to you? Scrumptush or Occupanic? Occupy. Ocu they know I'm high, brother. Fuck it with me. Occupoint cow. Okay, well, it's got to be scrumptious. Uh, they're they're both not really that appealing to be honest. Let's just leave it in the middle. Fuck it. Wow, you're really good at yes. Is the time that it is right now the correct time? No. What is what is going on? What the fuck, man? This is how I wanted to start this experience. <laughs> we haven't even played the game. We're in the menus. <laughs> I'm going crazy. What is time anyway? Well, time is yes. Time exists. So therefore it is. And because therefore it is, it's yes. Is there anything about yourself that you haven't told me? Of course. Yes. I'm scared. What? What is this? Bro, I'm taking a picture of this and sending it to my friend. What the fuck is it? Bro, what is this game? 
What is going on? This is terrifying. I mean, I'm honestly looking forward to it. Help. Yeah, I'll help you. Well, why does the P look like it's getting kind of cut out? Maybe it's just the text. I'll help you. That's right. Yeah, I'll come back and visit. <laughs> Fuck the game. The menus. The menus. The game. The menus. The game. I don't care about the rest of this game. I want to know what happens in the menus. What the fuck, man? I was not expecting any of this. Okay, if the brightness slider comes up again, we're adjusting it. We should have adjusted it the first time. Does anyone really truly know? No, no one really knows what time it is. We estimate. We estimate what the time is, what year it is, and we try to figure out what it is. But all clocks drift, and we could have been wrong. And, like, time itself drifts. No one knows what time it is. It's insane. Of course they don't. Yeah, no, no, nobody knows anything. You and I don't even know each other. We're like strangers. This is true, but I feel like we're getting along, bro. You're like my homie. You should follow my Twitch stream, by the way. You should hit up my Twitch stream, please. Come on. Like, help, help me out, man. Come on, help me out. Chef adjusted all the game settings to your exact specifications, but who hasn't? It's just what I do, like a day job. And now the job is over. There's no more information for me, Gally. I've collected all the data on you that I can. And I still don't really know you. And you don't know me. This is true. And neither of us know what time it is. This is true. I guess some settings are just unsettable. But if I'm being really truly honest, the clock doesn't do anything in the game anyway. You won't have me here when the game starts next time. But that's okay. Video games are meant to be alone. And with uh, be played alone. And with chat. <laughs> My boys. Right over here. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you like being alone, don't you? Yeah, I haven't left my room in a few days. That's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's maybe the only information I really... How did you learn that about me? How did you learn I like being alone? Oh, God. Um, I'm scared. Well, it's time for me to leave. Did he learn by how I'm coming back? There's still one more setting that we need to adjust, but it may take a little more, a little time before I'm ready for that. It's not really in my job description, but that's okay. Hmm. Perhaps you'll see me again if you can find me. Talk soon. I'm going through a crisis, bro. Okay, I need to know. I need to know. We're coming back, my friend. We got to see you in the menus again. <laughs> There's a 430 achievement. What? An achievement named 430? What the fuck? Well, this will be an entertaining episode at the least. I have a feeling he's in the menu somewhere. What if I adjust a slider? What if I adjust a slider and he comes back? Because he's he does handle the sliders, doesn't he? So let's go to sixty-nine. <laughs> nice. I didn't see anything else that could be related. Okay, let's try again. We've spent 25 minutes not even starting the game. This is great. I'm curious. Maybe it's going to make me try like three tries or something to restart to get him. Or he's in game. Okay, one more restart. If he's here, he's here. If he's not, he's not. We'll give up and we'll go on onwards into the great beyond.
Okie Oh, he's not here. Bummer. Is he in the credits? Would I have to watch the whole thing? And then restart the game again to get him back? I feel like that would be something. But I'm not, I don't want to watch the whole entire thing. It's going to take a while. Especially because it's so slow scrolling, but they know that. Wait. I have my mouse on. I wonder if this does anything. <laughs> this is about to be the biggest waste of time ever, but you know, I don't think anyone's here, so it's fine. We will wait. We will wait. Well, a lot of people worked on this game, my god. A lot of translation, it looks like. That looks like what a lot of it is. I'm excited for this game now. Seems like it's going to be a big mind fuck. Discord management. They got the Discord admins in the credits. <laughs> Amazing. Marketing. Console development. This is on console? I feel like I'm about to do this for nothing. <laughs> Please tell me this does something. Licensed under Creative Commons by Attribution 3.0. Creative Commons licensed by 3.0. Created with Unity. That somehow doesn't surprise me. Those buttons look similar to something I've made before. We could play my game on stream sometime. It really sucks, but it's, it's it exists. Like, you know what? I'm going to smoke. What? I didn't say that. <laughs> I'll be right back. It's the end of the credits. Let's go. Okay. I hope I didn't miss anything. I probably didn't. But okay, let's try restarting. Hopefully we didn't do that for nothing. It is totally possible we did, though. <clears throat> We've already been live for 26 minutes. And all of it has been in the menus. That's what I'm talking about. Damn. Did for nothing. <coughs> okay. Well, let's see if he's in the game somewhere. Never the end is the never what? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number four. Car seven off, bro. Come employee on. 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Yay! He him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Hmm. And although others might have considered it soul-ending, Stanley relished every moment that he loved it. Year. 
though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. <coughs> Wait, what? Oh, did I skip by accident? Fuck. Wait, I'm gonna restart. Oh wait, really? Okay, well it looks like we're going. Ah, uh, can I do something with this? Does not look like it. Okay. I hate Mondays. <laughs> oh, Mondays. I wonder if these numbers mean something. G eight one four dash F one. Probably nothing. <clears throat> okay, we're employee 427. I feel like we should be able to do something on the keyboard. <laughs> this crouch is aggressive, my god. Okay, let's do this. Locked, locked. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? I don't know. Decided to go to the meeting room. Oh, I'm locked out! I can't press buttons anymore! No! My button pressing is over. I guess, you know, if I think about it, I'm also just doing the exact same thing. Alrighty, to get around the table, you'll have to press this button for 3 point, or point three two seven seconds. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't <coughs> find a trace of his co-workers. Wow. I found a trace. The monitor's still on. Or someone's wasting energy. I turned it off. Okay, well, now, uh, yep, I'm saving the energy. Well, I haven't seen old style computers in a while. I love how they look. I kind of miss them. <laughs> Who farted? Yo, wow. Funny. 2013 humor, baby. Let's go. What else we got? I just like work. I like work, I just hate my boss. Yo, rough. <laughs> this is gonna be stupid. Oh, where's Office 420? 420! <laughs> Let me in. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the <laughs> office. Let me add. A single difference. Nor did it advance the This is where they had the supply. This is the only reason these people have fun pressing buttons. <laughs> Dang it. I will try every door. <laughs> so username access I can't read any of that I'll just turn off all the monitors awaiting input input received wait 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 I'm pressing buttons. I need to press the other keyboards. <coughs> oh my gosh. It's a clock. Wait, what what time's the clock set to? You? Four. It got set to four twenty, didn't it? Oh wait, no, that's not four. I can't read. <laughs> that's not four at all, it's ten. <clears throat> Ten something <coughs> or nine something. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god, don't smoke weed, kids. It's bad for you. Okay. Um, I'm very curious about this thing. Well, what do I press? Let me in. I want to see what's in the PC, please. What did I press? Okay, I give up. No, I don't. Trick. Okay, whatever. Fuck you. Hmm. Oh, I locked myself in. Fuck. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Doors are very confusing, you know? Let me in. This seems like a zombie apocalypse type shit. This is like waking up in The Walking Dead. I hate Mondays. I hate Mondays, too. There's a ladder and a ceiling. Wait. Oh, I want to go on the ceiling. 
It looks like we could get up there. <clears throat> Very potentially. Also, who's leaving all the doors open? Oh, that's pretty. Stocks, sales in this corner. We've sold ten button presses when this Sammy quarter. When came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I think if I follow orders, we can get back to menu guy. We're going to try following orders. Let's see what happens. Maybe we can, like, abandon the trail somewhere along. Oh, yes, the beautiful outdoors. I love them. I, I just, the blind and can't see shit light. Oh, man. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of determination Tuesday. Marketing Mondays! I love Marketing Mondays. <laughs> marketing Mondays is a thing that. One of my favorite Twitch guys does, which is uh, Atriac. Makes my mind nice. It's cool. Everyone is unique. You most of all. I hate shit like this, dude. When I saw that kind of stuff at like Target or Market of Choice, like we're all a family here. We all work hard for the company, and we're all friends. <laughs> oh my god. It's just like that company, like, bold shit, you know? It's annoying. Broom closet. Why do I remember the broom closet? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. <laughs> I'm gonna hang out in the broom closet. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. You know, dude, like, lucky. Broom closet. This looks like a comfortable place to take a nap for some reason. I got no clue why. I feel like if I was working a job and I had a room like this, I could just like put a little futon down right here. Take a quick nap would be great. Room closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. He is. He's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. Fuck off. Fuck you, Stanley. I do what I want. Which is, I want to look at this paint kit. Are you really still in the broom closet? I'm Standing bored. Around doing I'm, nothing? I'm just chilling. Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Oh, you know, it's just such a cool place. I just love it. There's an ending where if you just you stay in the broom closet. No choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, yep. she would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance. Well, you didn't narrate what I was supposed to do. You have to tell me to go past the broom closet. Otherwise, I'm going to explore. <laughs> I'll listen to no one. <laughs> Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Yeah. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Ow! Did you get the broom, <laughs> broom closet ending? ending. The broom closet ending was mine. <laughs> yeah, that was my favorite one. Your friends find this concerning. <laughs> I can't wait to tell all my friends about the broom Stanley closet ending. Stanley was ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> got the job because of a family connection. That's not stupid. <laughs> that or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> I love drugs and hookers. <laughs> I'm definitely not uh, well, spoken with. I've come with. to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. I'm well alive, Buckaroo. Closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here. When a physical malady of some sort shut down your yep. central nervous system, yeah. and you collapsed on the key. I had a heart attack. Well, in a situation, have a stroke like soon. Responsible thing is to alert someone near <sighs> so as to ensure that your body is taken care of. Yeah, that's a good idea. To decompose. Hello. Anyone who happens to be nearby, <laughs> the person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's sick, it's dude. It's of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area 
and instruct another human to take All right, guys, so we'll get on that. <laughs> understand basic first person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful <coughs> commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. <coughs> <coughs> I bet you nothing is going to happen in here, <laughs> but I'm going to stay a little bit longer. <coughs> Simply because I'm copping my ass off. Wow, this is a really cool closet. What the mop? So I definition, look, he's going for a swim in the mop closet. Mop, mop buckets are so nasty, dude. They have so much nasty stuff in them. Oh my gosh. The mop bucket at Market of Choice was so bad when I worked there. We'd mop like these nasty kitchen floors and stuff. It'd be, oh my god. We got him, boys. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh A little broom closet ending where all these crazy cool things happen. There's got to be more. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any work <laughs> before you. Oh, they locked the door. What if I just? You too. <laughs> it's the broom <laughs> closet, the baby. Species of invalids. <laughs> Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the computer <laughs> to. <laughs> Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. <laughs> the broom ending, baby. Give me more. Give me more. This has got to be the most boring shit anyone's ever seen, and we've been doing 40 minutes of it. <laughs> we spent 20 minutes standing in a closet, and we spent the first 20 minutes in the menus. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay. Into a staircase, stand oh, the no, my broom closet! The fuck is this? Why is there a letter? That says something important, I'm sure. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility <laughs> of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. There's no the one here. That. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. Why are there four None clocks? Made any logical sense. And as Stanley yeah, this doesn't this, make any sense. Make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked... Holy shit! <laughs> doors close automatically behind him wherever... Well, I mean, I've been closing doors, too. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. No, this is a new room. Repeating. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. What happened? What happened? I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. No, no, I think we're awake. What a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually... Yeah, this is definitely what a dream would he be like, though. to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. He thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have
have to go back to my boring real life job pushing. What am buttons. I standing on? I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above mm -hmm. the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it What the fuck is going on? So much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. What the shit? Lucid. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. I thought that was blood on the ground. Is there a voice in my head dictating A B eleven twelve? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found Parking. it particularly oh. strange. I'm dreaming about a voice. So A B eleven twelve. Thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. Uh, this is not repeating. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this oh, no, it is. to all people in there. Which before that's weird. The truth was that of course. This was not a dream. What is going on? Was Stanley simply yeah. believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? What is going Stanley on? He's as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice out. his words was a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was... What is going on? That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake Wait, what? He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back. <laughs> The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me Interesting. Wait up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. <laughs> all I want to do is push buttons all day, please. All I, want. I want my apartment and my wife. And my May we wife. have those? All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. What is going on, dude? I am okay. I don't like this. Up, oh, surprise! Stanley began screaming. Yeah. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? This is going to send me into a fucking panic attack, dude. What the fuck? And everything went black. What the fuck? All right. Maybe this wasn't a great game to get high for. <laughs> Mariella woke up on a day like any other. Wait, we're a chick now? Got dressed, What's going on? Belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk what is going on? By the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself. And then <laughs> we're at AR technology. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. <laughs> I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I what the fuck what is going on? What isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. My God. Fuck you, lady. And we're back. And you know where we're going? All of his co-workers were gone. Straight to the broom closet after we press a button is wait. He had simply missed a memo. I see how that works. Okay. So we're gonna turn off all the monitors again just to make sure. No matter how hard Stanley looked, 
he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. So the fact that that input still had what we had from last time means that this is not a new playthrough. This is the same playthrough. Which means things can be different. Like maybe that door being open. Or 420 being open! Because the monitors are in different places now. Which means my co-workers were here. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Broom closet, broom closet, broom closet, broom closet, yeah, 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 yeah. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his bo- Oh, no. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say <laughs> Come on. Come on. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. Please take your time. More. <laughs> more. Now the he 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 broke the fifth wall. He knows this is not a new playthrough now. This is the same one. This motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I think he's not going to let us do anything in the broom closet. Broom closet ending. Broom closet ending. Give it to me. Okay, there's no broom closet ending. Bullshit. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. So, what happens if I go down here again? Is it the same? But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. Am I going to go crazy again? Is this the exact same thing? Yeah, okay, it looks like it. taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. Uh, and then occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Let me an elevator. All my co-workers blinking oh. mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example... Why couldn't he see his feet when he looked? Okay, this is the exact same. So does that mean we're doing the same thing? Behind him, wherever he went, and for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Oh, we got an achievement. What? He said to himself, "This is all too strange. This can't be real." And at last, he came to the conclusion. What is going on? He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming. This is all a dream. Yeah, yeah, totally. What a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go <laughs> back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying. And began to gently float above the ground. Yo, we're floating. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. All right, it was so already we'll float that it still not human, How you was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest That's such a good song. entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't. I guess so this is the exact same. Why is there a voice in my head dictating? Why did we get achievement that time and not one last time? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly. But now I gotta know what happens if I come this direction again. Describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. He thought. Eh, maybe not. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth was that, of course, totally. this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley what? simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley mm. is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Okie dokie. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was, in fact, a dream. 
I love this Asian video games. The magical stars just a moment ago. How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just. I'm gonna panic again. Yeah. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. Okay. And he invited himself. Never done this before. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it could be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, Please. it's, it's all, all I want. want. I want my apartment and my wife. Oh, my, my wife. Dog. Where's my wife? All I want is my life. My wife. Exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Okay. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just yep. someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Yo, the same exact thing. Okay, well, that teaches us this something. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. God damn, I want to hear this again. Oh, wait, I can just begin the game again. Uh, no. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Okie dokie. She would soon turn to go call for an ambulance. Crazy, we've never heard this one before. Moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. What the fuck is going on, bro? What the shit is this? I do not understand. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Gotta turn off all the monitors again, of course. All the interactables. Where's button push? Wait, where's the button push game? Where, where's the button? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trick. <coughs> where's, where's, where's the button? Wait, please tell me it wasn't on my screen, and because I didn't look, I missed it. Can I see it in my office. I can't. Okay, hopefully that doesn't reset everything. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hmm. Okay, those are in the same places that they were last time, so that's good. Hopefully there's more computers, so we can find the one where we have to press it. Oh, I think maybe it was this way. Doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, no, it's not. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Yo. a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his <laughs> This motherfucker! An answer there. He blocked off the broom closet! I'm gonna just stand here, bro. 
You won't let me in my closet? Let me in! What if he says anything if I just stand here? My poor broom closet. I miss him. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Check every door. Holy shit, this is a nice office, dog. Ooh, an executive bathroom. Because the boss knows that what the boss says goes. If the boss have lost, then the boss shows. Let's go. That's a that's a pretty good poem. Does it have a flushable toilet that will tell us if it's a good game or not? Does not. I wonder if you yell at us, yell at us for being here. Uh huh. Okay, let's get out of here. I see what you got to go. Input. Input. Yes. Panda? No, not the panda. My God, business strategy. That true, true. I too shoot pandas to make my stocks go up. <laughs> I do it every Wednesday for the stock market, you know? Down. Why is it? I honestly love this. It's kind of a bop. This is in every elevator, bro. Is it put in by other people? Or do the elevators come with one come with a built-in speaker that has this music preloaded on? I feel like that's what happened. We're going a long way down, aren't we? Wait, what? Also, why are these glowing? So are we not even moving? It can't take this long to move. There's no way. Okay, what the fuck is going on? So that's the same. I think that was there. So the down goes nowhere. This is still the same. What's the point of the down? Is this just a simulated elevator that doesn't go anywhere? Okie dokie. Is it automatically shut or no? No, it doesn't. Hmm. I have a feeling this isn't going to go anywhere either. How long will we have to stay in this? Do 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 do. Ba 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 
<laughs> okay, I have a feeling this does not go anywhere. It almost sounds like the guy in the music is saying something, though. Is that the announcer singing? That's what it sounds like. Okay, we're out. It's not going anywhere. Bullshit. <laughs> Where's the point of the elevator? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover... This is a baller office, dude. My God. Unraveled. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, gotta poil, po put the sewage in the rivers, of course. CEO, money, money. Was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Hmm. Okay. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Where's the secret keypad? I, I don't see shit. <laughs> oh, keypad. Wait, what did he say again? Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. 2845? I feel like you're baiting me. Two, eight, four. Wait, why did it blink? It blinked green for a second. <laughs> Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. What the shit? We can still type in this. Two, eight, no, that's a zero. Okay, okay, that's the eight. So two, two, eight, four, five. Does that not do anything now? <laughs> Dang, I thought that would do something cool. <laughs> no elevator. Alrighty, through the door we go. What the fuck is this? Ah! I am very scared. What the shit? I can't see anything. Oh my god, I can't see literally anything. What is this? <laughs> okay, we're out of here. We're going this way. Into the elevator. Uh, only down. What the fuck is this? Who has this in their office, bro? That's all I'm saying. Oh, now we're loading. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. A bit peculiar, yo! Of emotion in his chest. As though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Whee! Uh, never mind. Stanley actually got back to <laughs> and went back up. So Yay! Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his I love trolling this guy at every That's step. A great question. I just can't wait to find out. <laughs> Wee! We're going up again. I'm just curious what's back this way, you know? I just want to I'll push that button one more time. Stanley, it's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's ah. still just exactly what no, it is. No, it is not, what a my friend. You've made to come up here and look at the office again. 
This has fleshed out the plot of the story in Wait, why is that? fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. It's a different password. Rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> this guy is pissed at me, I'm dude. Bolted to the edge of my seat. Oh, come on. That was the right one. One, two, eight, four. Why is it different is the real question. And phone calls, we love those. Oh my God. Okay. So why is that different? Is there any hints to the new password? Was two eight four five? I'm almost positive. Certificate of Pomposha Ronconcha. That's crazy. Okay, give me two seconds. I'm gonna take a quick break. Okay, so sorry. Let's just. Alrighty. Uh, Stanley Parable. <coughs> oh. 
I was not doing anything, I promise. <laughs> back down! Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all I this? know, right? I know, I know, it's insane. The content is crazy. <laughs> crazy, bro. <laughs> Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. No. It's time once again to go back up in Yay. the Yay! <laughs> I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. What's is up the there? Office again? Oh, what, oh, is the what is it? This time, the suspense is killing me. I think it's probably the boss's office. That's probably what I think it is. This is the boss's office. No, it is the boss's office. Why is this corner so dark? It freaks me the fuck out. You literally can't see anything. And you can kind of get stuck in it. Like, look, even when I'm turning around, I can barely see anything. Oh, shit, wait. I, I can't get out. I can't get out. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Is this the office? Oh my god. It's that scared the shit out of me. <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Truly. Me time out here for a minute while I process this. <laughs> Please hold. Processing? Right, wait, can I look around? I can't. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with no, no wait, <laughs> no. I need, <laughs> need more time, more time to, to process. process. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> He's processing, baby. I need processing time as well. It's all right. <laughs> There's some jamming music. All right. I have fully come to terms with it. I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before, I turned That's your crazy. Extra eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. Thank you, thank you. I have a very gripping narrative. My Twitch audience now. <laughs> the, this hero people here know how gripping it is. It's crazy. It's amazing. We could, what if we just stood here guessing every number forever? Yeah, I can't know. Well, let's go. These doorknobs look like eyes, and I don't like it. Okay. Well, I suppose we should go down the elevator, huh? Of course. Going back down. The I like the way the elevator. I anticipated. I mean, sure, now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, <laughs> that kind of thing had never been attempted before. I had no frame of reference. That's crazy. Anticipated. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision making is. A breath of fresh air. A in breath of fresh air for sure. That has grown stale and repetitive. What if we did it again? <laughs> oh, that didn't look good. It's almost like the elevator just broke. Oh, no. I thought the elevator for sure was broken. You know what? I just thought of something. Hold on, let's stop for a moment. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. Mm -hmm. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top <coughs> of this elevator. I know! But the suspense, the agony of waiting and I know, dude! And having to guess, that's the real thrill. Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious. Mm. So fleeting. Mm. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice and slow? That sounds great. There we go. Isn't this Yeah, so dude, the build-up is insane. Here, Stanley? It seems like nowadays the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. They uh uh. -oh. Explosive moments flung right in their faces from the Yeah, but sometimes you gotta just take your time and just ride the Where's elevator the very slowly. Where's the trust in the audience to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story? The characters? 
Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? True, to true, think, true. And to anticipate, and then to marvel at the eventual reveal. This is storytelling, Stanley. What you and I are <coughs> doing right now. This is the most exciting okay, floor is this? to be developed in years. And it's really all because of you. You're the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over and over. True. Yeah, I want to go to that middle floor. This Come is on. It's unique and different. It's not like anything else out there. You see, I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. Okay. I want to have to think. Vent. I want to be Let me in the vent. I want to vent. <laughs> We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time, and we all what know is it, that? Which is why we're uh, so like, no, that's different. Content that makes us feel sharp and vital and alive. There's that's stairs from a like door. You so much, Stanley, because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. You're a role model, you know. Yeah. People look up to you, which is why. Though I didn't know when to spring. So this on what you, this is telling me is I that that elevator in the boss's room. For you. Is really deep. So maybe you have to write it <laughs> for a long while. Not much for the public eye, but I think it especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. They really look up to you, Stanley. I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. I'm having the best impact. That might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Of course, of course. <clears throat> this isn't boss's office. Uh. I didn't sign up for this. I want to go back to the boss's office, bro. What? Okay. The room no! The press conference should be just around the corner here somewhere. Stanley live on stage. Yo, guys, welcome in. Welcome in. Oh, yes, we've been preparing this for a while. We got the show for you. Yes, the show of a lifetime. It's the Stanley Parable back out here with more and more content. Things like standing in the broom closet for 20 minutes of the stream. Yes, we got it here. We got another 20 minutes of going up and down elevators. Another 20 minutes of waiting around and doing nothing. Another 20 minutes of repeating a path that doesn't matter. We're good at it. We're great at it. Uh, yes, Glad you enjoy it. Oh, the stage door. This door. Okay. Ah, uh, man, I got to prepare my speech. <clears throat> oh, my God. The story. Look, dude, I'm here. It's, it's me. It's Stanley, the storyteller. Dude, it's like the Time Magazine, bro. An evening with World Peace Baby. Hmm. I wonder if the elevator still works, though. I kind of got stage fright, so um, I, I, I kind of need to leave. I'm a little bit scared. I want to go, go give a speech, please. Oh, I just want to go to the boss's office. I just want to go to my boss's office. <laughs> All right, time to give a speech. I've been practicing this one for a while. <laughs> uh... Stage door to the left. You're pointing the wrong direction. Oh, you're pointing that way. No. You're pointing this way. Yes. Or you're pointing to the robot. The world's first sentient machine. <laughs> that would be that would be not fun to be <coughs> sentient as, I'm not gonna lie. Doesn't look like a great life. Doing great. A conversation with Alexander the Great. Wait, what? Alexander the Great should be. Wait, what, what year is this? All right. Are you ready? Welcome, I've Stanley. To speak a Stanley Ryder. Almonds. Share. Go. Table. A truly Bar. unpredictable narrative. Now I know. Okay, okay, I got this. Great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. I'm. I'm really mm. proud of you, Stanley. What is going on, bro? It looks like they're ready for you. Go get him. Holy shit, man. I wasn't prepared for this. Five stars. Congratulations, Stanley. Remember where you came from. Your co-workers. Yeah, that does sound like someone trying to drag you down. Remember where who made you, Stanley. An audience with the dude who came up with a biza. Yeah. It was some guy in Mesopotamia. I'm interested. It doesn't look like him. 
Uh, I think Ted N N Nivision did a uh, story on where pizza came from. On ancient pizza. I would have gone to that great Alexander one. That's... Thank you, thank you. Hey, hey, yep, uh, yeah. Oh, man. Whew. Glad to be here, gentlemen. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, this fucking sucks. Why are they... No, wait, wait. I was so popular. Oh, we got a phone call. Input. Hello? Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are yeah. confirming your shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. Can you verify that this is correct? Yeah. Excellent. Your order will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. 1,237. 1, 2, 3, 7. 1, 2, 3, 7. I need to write that down. I'm going to write it in chat. One, two, three, seven. I have no idea if that's important or not, but we will find out. <laughs> it's kind of, it was kind of a weird number to just toss out there. Man, all my coworkers wasting power, bro. I got to turn off your computer. Leaf door. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Are you guys ready for the broom closet? I thought that opened for a second. One day one of these doors are going to open, and it's going to be the Yet best day of my life. single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Come on! There. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yo. Okay, this is just the same as before. Same as before. Am I on the magazine? Dang it. Time. Clock. <laughs> okay, I am semi-tempted to see... If we stay in this long enough, what will happen? Because that was really deep down there. I <laughs> So he said one, two, three, four for some reason. Is this gonna go? Maybe it doesn't go anywhere. If it doesn't, that's gonna be awkward. Okay, I was trying to think this doesn't go anywhere. Why is this paper glowing? Okay, whatever, we're done. I give up. I give up, but don't go nowhere. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Oh yeah, Stanley that number didn't mean any seven. Anything? Nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, Yo. looking behind paintings, desperate for clues Let to the situation. In. 
but his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried. This is different feet. commentary than and last so the time. Boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, two eight four five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons, wow, on the keypad, incredible! Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened path. Okay, we're gonna just go the correct way this time. I think we're supposed to do that input num one the number of times that we can go this way. Stanley walks straight ahead through the mind control the facility mind escape. Control facility. Mind control facility escape. Yeah, the why not? The mind control facility seems tempting. Light bulb. This seems like a j. Why are there so many cigarette buds? What the shit? I know those are joints. Hell yeah. <laughs> Backwards. I roll them up. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Holy shit! What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? No, no, I didn't have the strength to find out. You've made it to the bottom of the mind control. <laughs> Wait, we're supposed to be able to do that? What? You see, back when the Stanley Parable first launched in 2013, getting to the bottom of the mind control facility was a was bug. It oh. simply didn't catch during development. And you all sent us lots of photos of it on Twitter and acted very superior about it. I just... And you're all very, very clever. <coughs> anyway, when it came time to update the game, we knew that we had to do something about this little goof of ours. Oh, lovely. Here you go. New content. You can call it the... Bottom, bottom of the mind, mind control, control room ending. ending. If that enhances your perception of the value of these updates. <laughs> what the fuck? Say? New content. Always more content, content, more, content. More, 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 more. And I'm here to give it to you. I'm here to make it seem like we really covered every nook and cranny of the game with secrets and Easter eggs. I'd be pretty How sick. This? We wrote a new <clears throat> piece of music just for this section. Yo! You won't hear it anywhere else in the game. It's a secret that's just for you. I'm that's so special. special. Yay! All this track. Good job, you've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Well I just, done. this was an accident, man. I didn't know about the bug. Good job, you did it. Good job. This is a bop. Three, two, one. Good job, you, you made did it. it. The the mind control facility. Good job. Yeah. Should've been careful, it should have been careful. It used to be a bug, but now it's an ending. Now it's an ending. I Holy shit. You. I believe in your ability to cross, cross this the barrier. barrier. Alright, I kinda like this low key. Good job. You, you did, did it. it. Good, Good job. job. You, you did, did it. it. Good job. You did it. Good job. You did it. Good job, 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 you did it. Logical. <laughs> the best. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> okay, well, that was kind of cool. I had no idea that was a bug. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. We've only gotten a few achievements. I don't know how many endings there are. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked. Wait, I just realized I missed all the computers. I just walked past every single computer. That wasn't good. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So I wonder how many times we have to press this computer. Okay, not here. Not here. 
I haven't been checking doors anymore. I should be doing that. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his Yo. Leg. Well. <laughs> Shit. Yet there was not a single person here either. Where is the computer? Disbelief. I need the computer. To, to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs. I would need the back speed run tech. This is probably faster, right? <laughs> Fuck. Let's try up this time. Why not? Could be a different ending, right? Okay, that doesn't do shit. Whatever, we're out of here. Let me up. I really feel like there should be something in this room. Business strategy. That's so fucked. I love it. The moment he Two, eight, four, five. his office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Not a living soul. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as, as quickly as, as possible. possible. He didn't even have a single minute to just <laughs> let the narrator talk. Fuck you. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. Yep. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age. New music. age. Was not expecting this many bops when I started this game. I'm not gonna lie. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. His other Stanley parable speedruns. We. Where is this Stanley computer? Head through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Pog. <laughs> Still funny that we hopped over without even trying. The rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Bunch of plasma TVs. Let's go. Well, these are computers. <laughs> and no input thing. Now the monitors jump to life. Fire nature revealed. Where's my Each number? 427. An employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals. I didn't see to images on a screen. I didn't see mine. One of them eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. 427, okay, that's me. Right there. Oh, yep, that is my office. And I'm in it, asleep. Right? Yeah, it looks like I'm... Either that's my chair, or I'm crouched over my desk. Interesting. Fired. How do you get fired from a job pressing buttons? Do you just stop pressing buttons? That's probably this it. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? 
But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy. My or control sad, status or offline. Content. What? Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink Interesting. In, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay, what is this? They're making different sounds, and I am confused. I don't know if that means anything. It probably doesn't, honestly. Okay, whatever. Console disabled. What? Door. Bruh. So many buttons. What is this? Red outline, red LEDs. This is crazy. What the fuck is going on? Shapes. Ooh. Ah! I see. I see. I understand. That sounds like a wrong button press for some reason, but... There's gotta be four. Where's the fourth one? There's the fourth one. Four. No, it's a five. Where's the four? Up there. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, there's a way up there. Okay, sick. There is not. How do we get up top? How do we get to the butt? The red thing? Because I'm going to press the red button. The red, blue, red. Red, blue, red. I got no clue, dude. What's going on? How do I get up top? I don't. I don't understand. I don't see any way to get up there. Okay, maybe there's a way to get up there from around this way. Mind control idle, awaiting input. System power. And when at last he found the source of Oh Stanley. <laughs> the controls, did you? I need to know you enslaved all these years. You go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you want? <laughs> <laughs> control Stanley. Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand there's only so much that machine can do. Yep. You're supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. Mm -hmm. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Sick. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode. Eliminating the entire complex. How long until death? Please tell me the store's open. Let's say Fuck. two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You Okay, I know what I need to do. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we yep, have doors so open. time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where... Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. We got this, we got this. You'd like to know where your co-workers are? 
A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what. What, what do you mean? I erase them. It says press one. Turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, okay, we're I just gonna go press them all in the right order. Forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. We got time. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You Why? What? Okay, if that's what I'm supposed to do, I'm fucked. Extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Fuck! Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just Wait. assume when you saw that five that something in five was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, five, screen five. to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored Green, ones. Green, five. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. That's not five. Where's five? Something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> <laughs> Stanley. I don't understand. It's quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. I don't understand. I don't understand. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. Prob on. I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Goodbye, employee. Look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to strike. What the fuck is going on? Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it cut. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All of I don't understand. 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 Inevitable life from the moment we fill him until the moment I say. Bro moment. What the fuck is going on? Oh, yes, that's an ending. You're freaking nuked. Alrighty, I think we're gonna call it there though for the night, guys. I will be back later probably. I was just gonna get on for a little bit, stream for now, and then we'll be back on again later, probably around six. We'll see. Alrighty, see you guys later. Bye.